Hi, my name is Corey Holden and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. And this video is about the snap hook feature in SOLIDWORKS. So in order to easily place my snap hooks on my part, what I want to do is create a 3D sketch with 3D sketch points where I'm going to place my snap hooks. So I'm just going to start a 3D sketch here. And you'll notice that I have a plane already placed here in this part. This is just to make placement of these 3D sketch points easier on me. So for example, I'm going to place one coincident to this edge, another one coincident to the edge on the other side of my part, and then in order to really lock those down relationally, I'm going to click on the point in the plane and give it an on-plane relation. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to select the point in my plane, and again I'm going to give this an on-plane relation. And now I know that they're going to be right across the same plane on my part. So now I can jump in and actually use my snap hook feature. So I'll select my snap hook feature, and the first thing it's going to ask for is that 3D sketch point where I want to position it. So I'll click on one of my 3D sketch points, and now I'm going to see a preview of the snap hook on my model. Next, I need a direction that's going to be up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the top plane in this case, and the direction is going to be perpendicularly up from the top plane. So I'll select that. Next thing is what direction is out? Well, I'll use my right plane. And notice right now in the preview, my snap hook is play facing in. It's really quick and easy to just click on reverse direction and flip the direction of my snap hook. Now I do have to do my two snap hooks in separate commands because they are facing opposite directions here. Also, once all that's done, I have the options down here to actually modify the geometry of my snap hook. And it's really quick and easy to just change the dimensions and get the exact geometry that I want. But in this case, I'll leave it with just my defaults and click the green check mark to accept this. So at this point, I could just go in and place another snap hook on the other 3D sketch, but I'll continue on with the one I have. So what you're also going to notice is I have a multi-bodied part here. And so besides having the snap hook, I need something for it to latch onto. So if I was to show my hidden solid body here, you can see I have the upper housing to this remote. And if I section view this, you can see what's going on inside. I've got the snap hook, and there's nowhere for it to go. There's no cutouts, essentially, for the snap hook to actually hook into. So what I'm going to do is in my features, notice there's a snap hook groove command. Now the only way to use the snap hook groove command is you already have to have a pre-existing snap hook in your part. But since I do, I'm going to click on my snap hook groove command. I'm going to click on the snap hook that I want to create a groove for and I'm going to click on the body that I want to place that groove on. So I'll select that upper body. I can change the dimensions here to give myself clearances or in this case again I'll just go ahead and leave this as the default. I'll click the green check mark to accept this. And now what you're going to see is not only do I have my snap hook but I have this nice fitted groove that SOLIDWORKS automatically created for me in order for my snap hook to have a place to latch on to. So in this video, we covered how to use the snap hook feature. Thanks for watching, and look for more videos from Hawkridge Systems.